Hello and welcome to the seventh video in the tutorial series of machine learning for use with stocks and forex algo trading. Where we left off, we were uh, storing a whole bunch of patterns into an array and basically into memory. And now what we want to do is actually uh, begin the pattern recognition part of this. So basically, what is our current pattern that we have right now? So we'll come down here and make another function, and we're going to call this define pattern recognition, recognition, empty parameters. And here we're going to make an empty array for now, pat for rec. So this basically stands for pattern for recognition. So what is the what is the pattern in question? And for this we're going to make a bunch of variables, and it's going to be CP for current pattern, and I'm just going to say one. And so current pattern part one, basically. And that is going to be, again, our percent change. And in here, we're going to use average line. And where are we currently in that pattern? Well, minus one brings us to basically in an array. If you call the negative first element in the array, it takes you to the last element in the array. Subsequently, if we did negative 11, it would take you to you know the last tenth, or it's hard for me to say that in words, but if you get negative one, takes you to the last element, then negative eleven takes you to ten prior to that. So anyway, um, that's our start point, right? And then what would be the current point that in question here would be average line minus ten. Okay. Now what we're gonna do for the other ones, very similarly to what we did before, is do Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and what we'll do is see. Oops, not even the right spot. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and the other change that we need to make is here. Instead of minus uh, ten, this will be minus nine, eight, seven, six. Four, three, two, and one. So that will be the percent change from point, you know, kind of backwards format, right? From one to point two to point three to point four to point five, six, seven, and so on, starting from you know this point. So the percent change in the same format as our uh, pattern recognition. Now what we actually need to do is store this. So pat for rec. And what you could have done is just say like append, pat for rec append this, pat for rec append this, pat for rec append this, but, and then also, actually, there would be an even better way to do this with a for loop um, or a while loop, but again, we're trying to keep this pretty simple, so that's why I'm doing it this way, and so what we're going to do is append uh, cp1, and so now we're appending all, each part of this to our uh, pattern. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and just to make sure we did everything right, print pat for rec. So uh, let's save that and run this pattern for recognition function. Pattern recognition. Average line is not defined. And so, do we define average line as a, okay? We the problem is we don't have average line as the global variable. So what we need to do is move average line out of pattern storage and into a uh, the glo a global variable. So cut it there and put this down there and paste average line there. That should be the only issue that we we're really going to have. Bring this back over. Alt P. Okay, so this is our current pattern in question. And then what we would want to do is compare it to previous patterns. So in the next video, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to uh, take our current pattern and compare it to um, the patterns in our memory, basically. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching.